so here is the resume developers and now let us start creating our first table in our brand new project which is bookshare in my case it is bookshare so uh, you can basically create table in two ways you can directly go to the this table editor which i will be showing in our also you have a second way where you can directly write your sql queries okay which is our sql editor so there are basically these two ways to create tables but let us now first understand what tables actually are in superbase so tables are basically where you store your data and tables are similar to excel spread spreadsheets they contain columns and rows so if you have worked with uh, uh, you know uh, the excel spreadsheets you must be knowing they are divided into columns and rows and even if you haven't worked uh, then it's fine understand this the tables in superbase contains rows and columns so for the creating of a table uh, we need to understand that it is a best practice to add columns at the same time and we must define our data type of each column when it is created you can add or remove columns at any time after creating a table so there is no hard and fast rule that once you have created a table and you have added some columns you cannot remove it no it's not like that you can definitely add or remove more columns now superbase provides several options for creating the table you can use a dashboard or create them directly using sql which i had discussed discussed so superbase provide a sql editor within the dashboard where we can run sql queries uh, but one thing to name one thing that is important is when naming tables use lowercase and underscore instead of spaces for example uh, you have a table name let's say books only so you can either use books or you can write uh, books detail book details book underscore details you shouldn't be writing like book space detail okay so do not use spaces so now uh, let us go to the superbase dashboard and explore it more so here i am going to the table editor uh, we are use we are going to use the sql editor once we uh, basically uh, get comfortable with the dashboard itself so for now let us use the let us use the table editor only to create the tables so here we can click on create a new table and it will ask for a table name so we are going to use books description is optional so i would be skipping it you can add it if you want and now we have row level security we'll discuss this later for now just keep it checked now we have columns right so these are two pre-built columns already made which is id and created at so id is basically the primary key so in what happens is in relation tables in relational uh, database system you have a table right and inside each table you have at least one column which is a primary key which acts as a primary key which is unique so in our case in the in case of the table book the id is the primary key which means uh, that the id of each book would be unique and that's how you basically uh, identify records right so in case of real world let's say you have uh, like you we we are humans right and we have a unique name okay like we have duplicated names like uh, there are tons of people with your same name of yours but let's say you are uh, in you are living in a family in that a small family only you, only there is a single name reserved for you so that's how the id work i know that was not the best example but i i hope you have understood like we have something unique for every entity and in in case of columns uh, in case of relational database id is that unique thing email can also be unique but it is a common standard that we keep ids as, as the unique thing and hence it is labeled as primary key now we have this created at which is a which is the uh, of the timestamp which is the data type of which is timestamp okay and now we are going to add our own columns so the very first column that we are going to add, add is the title of the book and for it uh, we are going to use text the data type would be text so here you can see there are a lot of data types we have int uh, we have float we have numeric we have json we have text where care uuid uh, like so okay so we will explore some not all so we'll see what all we can use in this particular project and now we're going to add another column which is genre and it will also be of text type and you can uh, mark some columns as null but in this case uh, i do not want title to be null because what's the point of we do not want the user to add a blank uh, title to the book right so in case of column 
in case of genre also we do not want it to be null though you can definitely make the genre null but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because genre genre is an important aspect of a book right and the third one is basically let me check it it's author Third text again text and then we have rating it would be of type let's say in date and then we have a review so this would be the review that is given by the user who has read the book and who is uploading uh, who is adding the book in the collection so it would be you know the type text okay so we have added our uh, column names which is title genre author rating and review now in order to add it to our table we need to hit this save button over here so it is creating new table books along with the column so it is adding seven columns to our books so our uh, table and uh, the columns they will be created automatically at once okay so see our table has been created along with the columns that we provided so this is your your uh, spreadsheet like structure we have id created at then we have title author genre rating and review so this is your first table successfully created now let us start adding data to it so id is automatically generated created at leave it um, just like that and uh, now for the title let us go here and paste data from here you can fast forward the video because it will take time to copy paste things John rice fiction author is polo let me check the spelling it's and for the rating let's give it four for the review let's copy it from here and paste it over here now once you have added your data okay now hit the save button let us see if the data gets added or not yeah successfully created the row so now understand earlier you created a column right like this i mean you created many columns okay now you have created row inside this table and each uh, the data inside row is linked to a particular column so we have id one which is automatically generated then we have author genre rating review like this okay am i missing any no we are not missing any column yeah so this is how you add data inside your tables and i hope you like this video because it was super simple uh, to add data and now we'll see uh, how we can add more data and data in bulk into our table because we cannot work only with one row right so while adding the data in bulk we'll explore the new editor which is sql editor because i hope you do remember that we have two ways to uh, work with superbase tables one is this table editor which we worked right now and another one is sql editor over here and we explored table editor now we are going to explore sql editor